So our oven is ready at 400 degrees. We're going to pop these wings in the oven, for, let them cook up, and then we're going to get them all juicy, delicious with some buffalo sauce that I make up special. So stick around and you will see what we make of it. Ooh, there we go. I like chicken. Well, hello everybody. Today I was doing some meal prep, making some chicken wings. And I make my own sauce, it's a buffalo sauce. But it's got a little bit of a sweetness to it. And of course, if you're on keto and you've gone to the store and looked at the labels on a lot of the sauces that they have, well, they're not full of the best things. So I've been experimenting and playing and tweaking until I got something I really like and I thought I'd share it with everybody today. So when I make my chicken, I turn the oven on 400 and I put the chicken in on parchment paper for 35 to 40 minutes. I pull it and during the time that it's cooking, I mix up my batch of sauce, which consists of Frank's hot sauce or the sauce of your choice, Kerrygold butter, cayenne, pepper, garlic, onion, and a little bit of swerve. Now this is super simple and I'm actually making meal prep for the week. So I'll be putting like six wings per container for my meals for the next few days. We're gonna mix it up real quick and show you how simple it is. So, because I'm making a recipe and I'm sharing it with you guys, and because I don't want Stacy to be upset with me, I'm actually gonna measure everything and show you along the way how I do this exactly. Five ounces of Frank sauce or any other hot sauce that you like. This works well for keto. Six tablespoons of Kerrygold butter. And if you look closely, they're all measured out, so you just count over six and chop it off. Half a teaspoon of cayenne. You can add a little more if you like more kick. I'm kind of a wimp. A teaspoon of pepper and a tablespoon of garlic powder, onion powder, and swerve. And that's it. Super simple. So the way we make this while the chicken is cooking is in a pan, we're going to put the Kerrygold butter and let it melt. We're doing that on low heat. Once it's fully melted, we're going to add in the sauce, the hot sauce, and all of our dry ingredients here. We're going to mix that and cook it for about three or four minutes just to get it all mixed up well and baste your chicken with it. Put it back in the oven for another eight to ten minutes and you're going to have some wonderful wings with a great flavor, I promise. Well, alrighty folks, it's been ten minutes. We're going to pull our chicken wings out. I'm going to show them to you, put them on a plate. Give them a try. Hope you try these. If you do, let me know in the comments what you think. I'm always tweaking, experimenting, and having fun with things. So, without further ado, let's pull these things out. Come on, chicken wings! I really should use a baker mitt or whatever. Oh well. Let's see. Will I ever learn? Probably not. But this is my chicken wings. They're yummy. Trust me. You gotta try them. And I use my little meal prep trays with the little lids. I dishwasher these things like crazy. I've had them for, gosh, almost a year. Got these on Amazon. They'll be linked below, of course. Uh, they're wonderful. I measure out my main portion, usually my chicken. A little bit of veggies. Sometimes I'll even stick a little something on the side of yogurt or uh, some almonds or walnuts or something. Just kind of balance things out a little. These things are awesome. So, with a few basic ingredients, a couple minutes of mixing some stuff up, super easy. If I could do it, you could do it, that's for sure. We can have a nice buffalo sauce on our chicken and still stay keto and know what's in the sauce. We're going to give this a quick try real quick. Oh my goodness, that's good. Yep, just six or seven of these. Be a real nice little meal. Give you a kick, give you some flavor. Really enjoy this. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. 
or what we should do different to it. I'm going to try some barbecue sauces. I'm going to try some honey mustard sauces. The buffalo is where I wanted to start because this is what I was missing the most. Not anymore. We'll see you guys.